Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this is the latest updates coming from here in Birmingham. A story that broke yesterday at 7pm was a shooting in Winston Green. Police were called to the Balfield Road area on Thursday following reports of gunshots being heard and a group of men running from the scene. The latest update on that story is that police have arrested three men and a man was shot in the leg in the local area. The men's ages are 26, 24 and 20 and they were arrested by armed police on the street in suspicion of possession of a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence. West Midlands police say searches are being conducted on the road in connection with the shooting and a section of the street is still cordoned off. The police said that a 22-year-old male presented himself at a hospital with a gunshot wound to his leg later on and they are still trying to establish a motive for the incident. This is the second shooting this week in Birmingham, the other one being in Lazales where a man was shot in his arm and an attempted murder case was launched then as well. So I'll definitely keep you updated on anything to do with that story and please don't forget you can get the latest updates on the website as well. In some other news coming from Birmingham, a story that I've been covering on the website, any story that I cover on the website will always be covered in depth on the channel as well at some point. It's just that if a story breaks, I will sometimes put the information on the website first so you have an idea as to what is going on. But this is in relation to a murder of a man in Heathtown, Wolverhampton and it happened outside the Asda. The victim has been identified as Martin Latham and his family have released an image that they said is actually very old. He's 41 years old now but they said this is how they will remember him. Brian Willington has been charged with murder. He's 32 years old from Moseley in Birmingham and appeared at Wolverhampton Magistrates Court on Thursday the 9th of September. He's accused of killing the 41 year old. Martin was from the Ettingshall area and was repeated repeatedly stabbed in the car park in Asda just after 9pm on Monday. He died in hospital and his family were understandably devastated. He was a father, a brother, an uncle, a son and a granddad. And the family said words cannot explain how we feel at the moment. And thank you to the subscriber that sent me the footage from the scene as well and took the time to do that so I can give you the most comprehensive report on what really happened and the facts. So my condolences to the family of Martin Latham and I'll definitely give you an update on anything to do with that story. In some news coming from the regional organised crime unit in the West Midlands known as Roku, they have taken part in an operation to take down a gang from Grimsby that they said was selling up to a million pounds worth of cocaine across the Midlands and beyond. They said that the investigation led from the UK to Eastern Europe and even America and it followed a large operation where a BMW was stopped by the police in Humberside in Grimsby last year and they found £200,000 worth of MDMA and cannabis. MDMA is the precursor to ecstasy. So if you compress MDMA into tablets, then it becomes ecstasy. Hidden inside bags alongside cocaine. And two members of the gang were arrested at the scene and were put under police surveillance beforehand. CCTV showed them putting drug-filled bags into a car outside a hotel that they were staying in while they was in the town. The BMW driver Igor Gryden and passenger Alexis Sagamogas were then stopped shortly after and all four men who were from Latvia were arrested and charged with intent to supply drugs. Police found a rucksack with packaging material and receipts which showed items in kilos being transported to different parts of the world. They also intercepted two packages that were being sent to America as well. And text messages from the ringleader showed that he was directing the trade across continents and him and his friend Semjanov had flown from Riga to London and at some stage collected the drugs. They travelled to Grimsby and separately sent them to Gryden and Sagamogus who then drove to London to meet them the next day for the exchange. CCTV evidence showed that they had previously been involved in the distribution of drugs and the four men were jailed for a combined total of 50 years at Grimsby Crown Court on the 8th of September 2021. It was a culmination of combined stings led by the Roku in the West Midlands and support from the National Crime Agency, Europol and the US Department of Homeland Security and even the Latvian Organised Crime Division. And bear in mind, Latvia is a very small place and for them to have their own organised crime division shows the problem they must have. Detective Inspector Dave Hollies from Roku said this was a significant drugs ring and the global pandemic was no deterrent in their carefully laid plans to import 
and export drugs across the continent. It was due to the combined efforts of police forces around the world that we were able to bring them down and arrest the network. They were all jailed for between 14 years and 10 years as well. And definitely a big reminder of the consequences of these sorts of operations. It can go fine for a year, two years, three years, but eventually if they get any sort of idea what you're up to, it can come tumbling down very fast. So I really appreciate you joining me for this brief update. I'll be back again with some more news from around the UK and the world. And don't forget you can send me stories on the website via the upload news section and also merchandise is available. I really appreciate you joining me today. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.